We don't push too hard though. A little bit, just a little bit. Just a couple. So you, want, you want to make it radio friendly. <laughs> Thank you for calling out for free line. Revalue your call so much it won't cost a dime. If you're calling from a mobile, we charge a standard fare. And we take so long to answer, let's hope you're in the end. Let's bring it down by five and see. Take it down by two and see. Two, five, three. Two, 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 a lot of kind of, oh, I want it to be one beat per minute slower, no, faster, um, and real tension in the band. So, I think up by three. Up by three. Oh. Up by three. These verses are going to sound like a rave. People are going to be like, why did they release a rave song? That's well, fine. it worked for... Um, I'd rather rave song like than lullaby. So, most of the practice was actually spent scheduling when we're going to actually record most of the songs which is a complex process everyone's got a very busy schedule and very busy lives and i found out that i have this funny squeak in my pedal so if you listen very carefully oh, no, no not that you can hear it it's almost it's almost like a duck is stuck in my bass drum can you hear it how do you how do you go about getting a duck out of a bass drum you can't it's like a bat in your hair. Once it's in there, it it's just there for the rest. Can of Can we life. not get in a priest to just exercise the duck? <laughs> um, maybe I don't know if there is a special type of priest that might do that. But as far as I'm aware, the duck is going to be with us for the rest of the recording process. Nothing we can do about it. It's a mission impossible What have you got there, Tim? Um, this is a very, very um, high fidelity recording of what we've just been practicing now. It sounds amazing. If we don't nail it when we record this in studio, we'll just use this. 